So we are going to continue with our question paper June 2019, uh, paper 1. So this is number 4. Uh, the first question was, convert 4, 3, 4, base 5 to base 10. So when we are converting from another base to base 10, it means we are expanding. So it's 4 times 5 squared plus 3 times 5 to the power 1 plus 4 times 5 to the power 0. Why? Because we use this concept that uh, the first position here, these are units, so it's 0. Uh, these are tens, so we put to the power 1. These are uh, squares, so we square the base here. So this is the ascending order of the powers of the base. So 5 to the power 0, 5 to the power 1, 5 to the power 2. So yeah, 4 times 5 squared plus 3 times 5 plus 4 times 5 to the power 0. 5 to the power 0 is, is 1. So my final answer becomes 4 times 25 plus 3 times 4 plus 3 times 5, this 5, plus 4 times 1 because 5 to the power 0 is 1. So 4 times 25 is 100. 3 times 5 is 15, 4 times 1 is 4, so this will be 119 base 10. The next equation, 75 base 10 to base 2. So when we are converting numbers from base 10 to other base, we divide and then use this method. So we are going to convert to base 2 in this case, and we are converting 75, so we divide 75 by 2, 2 into 75 is 3. 37 remain the 1, 2 into 37 is 18 remain the 1, 2 into 18 is 9 remain the 0, 2 into 9 is 4 remain the 1, 2 into 4 is 2 remain the 0, 2 remain the 0, yeah, it's 0. So yeah, it's remain the 0, then uh, 2 into 2. So one remain as zero. Right. So this means reading from down upward like this. We start by writing with this one, then zero zero one zero one one base two like this. So this becomes our final answer in base 2. That's how we convert the numbers from base 10 to other bases. We just divide. On part B, this is, this is the addition of number bases 377 base 8 plus 411 base 8, leaving the answer in base 8. So there's an easy method where we can just add directly, like what we do in base 10. We can just add directly. And write this to remember that this is base 8. So 7 plus 1, we write uh, remainders and carry answers. So 7 plus 1 is 8. Then we divide 8 by 8, it's 1 remainder 0. So we write 0 here and carry a 1. <coughs> like this. Then uh, the next step. We are adding this one, we have carried to 7 plus 1, so this becomes 9, 9 divided by 8, it's 1 remainder 1, so it's 1, then we carry 1. Then 3 plus 4, it's 7 plus 1, we have carried is 8, then 8 divided by 8 is 1 remainder 0, we write this 0 and carry 1. But now we do not have anything to add here, we just put that 1 back, so the answer becomes 1, 0, 1, 0, base 8. Or, if this method is confusing, you can use the longer method of expanding the bases. Let me demonstrate the longer method. So I'm going to expand this to base 10. So 3 times 8 squared plus 7 times 8 plus 7 times 8 plus 0. So this will give me an answer which I will add. And this is 4 times 8 squared plus 1 times 8 to the power 1 plus 1 times 8 to the power 0. Let me calculate here 64 times 3. This one, I'm now calculating this one. So it's 64 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 2 
to the power 1, 2 remainder 1, then 6 times 3 is 18 plus 1 is 19, then I add all other numbers, so 119 plus 56, since 7 plus 8 is 50, 7 times 8 is 56, plus 7 times 8 is power 0 is 1, so 7, 7 times 1 is 7. So 192 plus 56 plus 7, it gives me 255. Then I'll do the same to the second number again, 64 times 4, here, it gives me 256. Then I'll add the remainders. Now the remaining numbers, 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 8 plus 8 is 1, so 8 plus 1. So 256 plus 9, it gives me 265. Then I'll add 255 plus 265, this will give me 520. 520 must be converted to base 8, which is the next step. So I'll divide by 8. So 8 into 52, it's 8 remain, it's 6, remainder 4. 8 into 40, it's 5, remainder 0. Then 8 into 6, 5, it's 8, remainder 1, since 8. Is divided into 64 8 times. 8 into 8 is 1, remainder 0. 8 into 1 is 0, remainder 1. So, reading from down up, it's 1, 0, 1, 0. Just like the answer we had found using the other methods. Do not forget to write the base here 1, 0, 1, 0, base 8. Let's proceed to number 5. The number 5 was the circle geometry, which is a challenging concept to many students, but I'll try to, to highlight uh, the question. So let me expand this so that you can see the question. In the diagram, ABC is a cyclic quad in which AB is equal to AD. This means AB is equal to AD. Then, we are also given that BC is equal to, uh, to this, which is DC. AC is the diameter. This is the diameter. And we know what it means when we uh, say a line is a diameter. We know the implication on the angles. Then, in the... And angle A, D, B is 10 degrees, so this 10 degrees. So the first step here is to fill all the angles before attempting any question, which is the easiest. So I will try to do that. So this one, since these sides are equal, this also 10 degrees. And the next step is to identify a cyclical quad, a, a cyclic quadrilateral, cyclic quadrilateral, cyclic quad, is a quad inside a circle, right? So in blue, I've just shaded in blue here that this is a cyclic quad. Then a cyclic quad, the most important principle on the cyclic quad is that opposite sides are supplementary or they add up to 180. Yeah, since this is an equilateral, this since this is an iso, isosceles triangle, this 10, this 10, and from 180, this 160. So this will also give me the, the opposite angle. If this is 160, it means this is 20 to add up to 180. Now, the next step is to find these angles. This is also an isosceles triangle. Two sides are equal, so which means the base are equal. And since this is going from 180, it's 160 divided by 2. This will give me 80 for each base angle. So it's 8 degrees, 80 degrees. Now, we are given that AC is a diameter. So this confirms that this is a diameter since 80 plus 10 is 98. Diameter subtends a right angle at the circumference. Now let's go to the answers. So in part A, state the special name given to the cyclic uh, 
quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So if the adjacent sides are equal, it's a special type. And here we are given that they want the special name given to the cyclic quad. They've already written that it is a cyclic quad. They know it is a cyclic quad. And they know you know that it is a cyclic quad. So you must give a special name. If you write cyclical quad here, it will be wrong. So this is a kite. This is a kite. Since the adjacent sides are equal, this is a kite. Two adjacent sides are equal, and the other two adjacent sides are equal, is a kite. Then B, find ACD, angle ACD. So ACD. A, C, D. There are many uh, ways of finding A, C, D. A, C, D here. We can just uh, divide by 2 since this line is cutting across the kite. is dividing the kite. So this will be 10. Or we can use angle subtended by the same arc. So the same arc here is A, D. It also subtends this one, which is 10 degrees. So you can also find 10 degrees here. Oh, here, this is a chord. A chord uh, meet the diameter or the radius at right angle. So if there is 90, 90 plus 8 is 170 from 180, is 10. So there are many ways to find this and this. So this 10, this 10. So the answer here was 10 degrees. Then, the last question, A, D, C, last question on number 5, A, D, C. There are also many ways to find, since this subtended by the diameter is a right angle, it's 90 degrees, or we can just add 10 plus 8, which is 90 degrees. So this was the answer for number 5.